Well, if we know one thing, it's that internet reports are never wrong. Ever. Okay, so uh, in the wake of what's happened with Guardians, there's been a lot of, uh, I guess, interesting topics that have popped up is a good way to put it. You know, who's going to be taking over Guardians? Is anybody taking over Guardians? Um, has Taika Waititi officially signed on? Has he not? Apparently not, because, you know, we haven't heard anything about Guardians moving forward. But just a couple days ago, there have been reports, and more and more people keep coming out saying that they, you know, the reports were factual. And that's the fact that Taika has apparently met with Marvel Studios about an upcoming project. Now, you know, we could talk about this in a few ways. Originally, he said he's wanted to do more, like way more with Thor. But it's generally a trilogy, so he doesn't know if he'll get to. Option number two is taking over Guardians. Certainly, I think that's the fan favorite from Marvel Studios. It's like, okay, he has his own vision. It's kind of, um, how do we put this? It's like, it's close enough to the James Gunn visual style that you could probably do something with it and make it seem that it's part of it since they are keeping James Gunn's script. So Taika could probably deliver a similar tone. And the third option, I think this is the most uh, valid one, would be to get him on Eternals. Now... Realistically, you know, Eternals, Jack Kirby, crazy colors and things happening. He did that with Ragnarok just fine. So I think that's kind of what you have to think about. And that's kind of what I'm thinking of. It's like, it's in his wheelhouse. And I think that's the way you kind of push him and do that type of franchise. And that way it makes sense. But at the same time, it could have just been any random meeting, right? Like, oh, we met for this x y you know or just we're catching up we're seeing what else is out there because these directors meet up with their friends who they become friends working with pretty frequently so you got to think there's always some discussion of what's happening and who knows if these reports are overblown at all and sometimes i think they are but in the end i think he will come back to do something we just don't know what it is yet